this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the new changes that happen to creating custom visual. So uh, I already wrote a series of blog posts about uh, creating custom visual with R and JSON. So uh, it's actually that was back as you see on the May of uh, 2018, the latest one. That's actually kind of uh, more than a year ago. Uh, it, it, some changes happen, so I'm going to update and provide uh, the new features and new way of doing that some things have been changed so maybe some people who watch my to kind of going back to my visual uh, and using the blog post maybe see different things so i'm going to update the blog post very soon and also i'm going to these videos so this is the first video that i'm going to talk to show you how you can actually go through that so the first step is actually you need to download the node GS. So the first step is to actually you uh, kind of download one of the Node.js. So this is a recommend one or the other. Just install that one on your machine. So it take about a couple of seconds to install. So for example, I use the new version. Just save it. It take a couple of seconds to download everything. And after about that, you actually access to so uh, the custom visual that I'm going to talk about, actually that happened about uh, that time, uh, is actually, uh, you know that there are different ways that we can get custom visual, uh, so uh, um, about uh, getting from marketplace, or you can use uh, JavaScript, or you can use Charticulator, that type is a new approach. I wrote also some blog posts on that. And also, uh, there are, uh, this is another way that you can do that's available from 2017 or 2016. Uh, but there are not that much uh, kind of videos on that. So I'm trying to make it as a video. So I'm going to show you the one that I've already created. So you have a feel that what I'm going to talk. So I'm already created one that was this one actually. So this is a custom visual that I'm created. As you see that it has its own uh, icon and name. This is our face chart. So you will see that how it works. I'm going to get some data. So I'm going to get a CSV file. Again, I'm going through the data set. This is my MPG data set. I will provide the link for that on the uh, description of the video so if you want to work so just load the data and I'm going to show you that how it works so this visual is actually kind of the one of the complete visual and that I'm created so you just enable it that's the one as you see that is not like the R visual that you can see any code it's just like other custom visual you see that here I defined different tabs so we have x y legend column row so these are the fields that i define so you can define your own type own fields you're also able to provide the proper actually message that for example field to place on a horizontal axis or legend or for the column you get you can provide specific things for the guidance so i will fill out so i want to show speeding city on the x-axis and as you see that just make sure it's not summarized because it doesn't work and after that also I want to put for the y-axis again I will check to not summarize and I need a legend so I put the uh, type of sedan so as a here so as you see that before putting it show me a one so I said, yep, don't summarize, CYL. And then I'm going to put driver, type of a driver, again, don't summarize, and the year of the production of the car as a row. Just make sure it's also don't summarize. So it's take a couple of seconds to create the charts for you. So the behind the scene is all about R, is a plot uh, for the people who are familiar with R, this is Plotly, you're able easily to zoom in and zoom out and see the charts here. Also, you're able to uh, kind of zoom it and back it to the view one. And also, you're able to remove a specific legend or show it on the one. So, for example, I want to see, I don't want to see the 
uh, cars with the eight cylinders so it's removed here but if I just back you can see the chart so this is the chart that I'm going to show you so this is a kind of com kind of comprehensive house I'm going to show you the whole process during these videos so uh, to do that you need to uh, kind of write a couple of code so after you install the node.js from here you need to run it because i'm already run it i'm not going to run it so it's really straightforward and after that you need to go to the command prompt so just here write command prompt so during these years uh when I show this one in the class or I show, uh, actually get some comments from people, uh, some people don't have access to the admin site. So if you don't have, you need to have the admin access because we are going to install some tools. So just remember, you should have the admin access to your one. So it's as and you need to have an admin access to your one. So this is important because we are going to install something so i'm going to uh, uh kind of create a folder in the c so i'm going to my c drive i'm create a new folder i can call it as a r custom list so this is a empty folder that i'm creating copy the name and i'm going to change the director to that one so change and I'm going to that. So now I uh, use the comments to install the Power BI Custom Visual tool. So I'm going to kind of install Power BI tools for that. So there is a command np install g Power BI Visual tools. I will put this command at the description of this video so you can access through that. So here you actually you install that one and uh, just take a couple of seconds to be installed. Uh, it shouldn't be any problem through that, so you can easily kind of access through that. So I just wait till it's installed. Okay, so it should be installed. So now I just want to check it. Just write in the here, just go to here and just write uh, PBI Viz, that is Power BI Visualization. You should see something like this that actually shows that already is installed. So now we are going to download a sample example. So this is a sample example I'm going to download. This is a sample example, sample RHTML visual that Microsoft provide for us. And we are going to install that one. So I just click on that. It's going to create a custom visual for me in the folder that I have. So as you see, it's already downloaded here, but it's not complete. So to make it complete, uh, this is a new change. So for people who works with this one, after that, be easily able to come here and set uh, PBIV package. Uh, actually, we need to go to the folder. So we need to go to the CD uh, sample. RHTML visual. So we go into there and it says uh, PBIVs package and is actually going ahead and you have your visual. But in the new version, you get an error about the uh, in name, about the email address, and something else that you need to. Provide. So I get some comments uh, that people recently worked with that, that uh, we get error when install. So that's a new change actually that is happened. As you see that I get a author name is a specified email, visual description address. So you need to provide that. That's a new change that happened recently uh, compared to the what we have before. So what I need to go, I need to go here uh, on the, we need to go to the uh, package JSON. And I'm going to open it with WordPad. And uh, oh, sorry, I mean PBI with JSON, not the package JSON, PBI with JSON. I made a mistake. So I'm going to open it with the WordPad. And it's opening here for me. So under here, you will see. We have a field for description. So you need to provide that one to make it 
Well, so I said that is a face it chart. The face it chart to shows different variables. So this is my description. You need to provide a GitHub or URL. So you need to kind of put it in the GitHub. So you need to have access to GitHub. I need to put that. So this is my GitHub. I'm already put. Uh, this is back about uh, about yeah 2018, about a year ago. So I'm going to put the URL here. So this is my URL as I put for that one the same place. And I put my name, Rayla ETA. So everything here is kind of in the JSON format. So as you see that here, everything is JSON format, the name and the other. So these are the everything that they want. So I'm just save it and close it so it should be fine now so if i now run the pbi package i shouldn't get any error so as you see it doesn't have any error seems it should be okay so if i go there is a new folder this and i can see the visual here so just for now i'm going to check the visual here to see that that is work or not. Still, we didn't do. We just download the sample and we prepare the environment. Nothing implementation happened. We just access to the one implementation. So that was here under the folder DIST or distribution. You should see a file that the format is PBI with. So I'm just download that one. And I just want to check it. You see that it doesn't have any icon and the other. We should set it up. I'm click on that, and then uh, kind of you should see. I just pass a, a variable. It doesn't kind of interact, but I can see here. So that means that now my environment is ready to deploy. So this is the one that I can deploy. So in the next videos, I will show you that how you can kind of uh, change it. So you see that you have a script.r. So you can kind of change it through here and you will see that actually we have uh, we have an assets folder that we can put our icon here and we have a capabilities.json that kind of most of the uh, formats and everything we can change over there so that's just an overview that's what we have here so these are area that we can actually change the format and everything here and uh, these are also the R code that available there. Uh, I'm saying that there are some changes, but I'm will going to show you how the changes happen here. So uh, this is an introduction. So in the next video, I will show you that how you can make it to uh, actually gradually going and improve it to reach a chart like this that able to interact with your data set. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, in the next videos, I will provide also, I'm already updated the first uh, kind of uh, uh, blog post that I have on this. So kind of you will be access to that. So it should be this one actually. So I'm going to uh, make some update through that. That's actually I wrote in third of the 2017. I'm going to put on that and I will put this one in the link video so you can access to the whole process. Thank you for watching this video and uh, looking for the next one.